cut it down to one thing that you would like people who are serving you to do? Basic respect. Respect. Mm -hmm. Treat that person as an equally valid and valuable human being uh, with respect and empathy. Okay. Tell them. Paper towels in the toilets. Paper towels in yeah. the toilets. Hand dryers for somebody who's got audio sens sensitivities, mm -hmm. uh, just like a jet engine in a, mm -hmm. in a confined space. Okay. Houston. We're your customer. We're, we're your next customer. We're your next sale. But it is, it's, it's respect. And treat us with the same respect you would treat anybody else. Okay. June? I think it's just purely good customer service. Yeah. Okay. In a nutshell. And Paula? Don't prejudge individuals. You, you will never understand everyone's disability, but approach them and see, trust your gut instinct to see what they might need. And it is common sense, just give them the support they need. You know, try your best and that's it. So, what we have said, I think, to sum up across everybody is respect. Don't be afraid to ask, because unless we're having a really bad day, um, we will answer you with what our needs are and as people who are disabled, lived with your needs long enough, have your own coping mechanisms so you know what support is required. If you are unsure what to do, ask. If you don't know what to do, ask. And if you think you've done something wrong, ask. Yeah? Also prepare yourself with a bit of forethought which might be, I have a high counter, do I need to come round? We have things on high shelves, do I need to come round? If somebody's sort of short snatched, wheelchair user. Or it might be if somebody is looking at things closely, they're probably not trying to whip it, they just can't <laughs> see the price on it. So a bit of awareness of what is around you. Being aware if somebody is looking stressed, they quite possibly are and ask people why they are stressed, if it's because they can't find something, noise, light. Your example, Houston, is if you're aware somebody is battling, turn the radio off. That can help, or find a quiet place if somebody is stressed. And if you realise that somebody isn't responding, perhaps they can't hear you, perhaps you can grab a bit of paper or a mobile phone and just write down what it is you want to say. So there are very many practical things that you can do in that instance to make somebody a lot more welcome. But above all, look at somebody and go, ooh, person, shall I ask them how I can help if they're looking a little bit, a little bit lost or in need of help? And if they say no, they say no. And if they say yes, don't try and help the way you want to help. Ask that person how you might and if you might best assist. <laughs>